Hey, it's Fran Bark, and today we're going to take a look at the Ryobi P727. It's their newest LED work light. That's a pretty neat deal. Runs on their 18 plus one platform. Battery is not included. All you get in the box is this thing right here. Uh, it's a pretty neat light. It does a, a has a, some functions that you don't see on normal lights. Uh, you can here. Let me turn it on. It'll be an area light, so both sides can turn on. And then the top part has a 270 degree swing. So it's pretty neat. Uh, if you wanted to do some close-in work, you could you know, put something right underneath here, and you'd have a lot of good light. And it would stand by itself, and you'd be able to see. Now, I am showing the box here. Normally, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, but this light is really hard to find in the stores. And uh, so I just thought I'd help you out if you were looking for one. This is what the box looks like. Uh, I actually had to have this sent to me because I could not find it in the store, even though the computer said there was one. So uh, anyhow, got sent out to me. And uh, let's take a closer look at the light. Controls are pretty straightforward on it. It's just the one button. Uh, you press it once to turn it on. Then you keep hitting the button to turn the alternate sides off, and then ultimately all of them turn off. This uh, button may be probably one of my biggest gripes with the light. It is super sensitive. So if you were traveling with that thing in your, uh, it was in your trunk or the back of your truck or something like that, and the battery was in it, I mean, you just have to brush this thing and it turns on. And then you'll kill your battery before you get to wherever you're going. So... Not a fan of that button right there. I was there. doing the endurance test on this, seeing how long it was going to run on a battery. I had it in this configuration. And uh, if you're going to run it like this for a long time, just keep in mind that the temperature right in this area right here and also in this area right here is going to be very warm. When I went to check it, I grabbed that it, it was quite hot and it was actually 120 degrees in here. I don't think it's going to get hot enough to do any damage. It didn't you know, deform the plastic 120 is not enough to do anything to this, but, um, you know, maybe give it a little bit of an opening just so you get a little air through there. One of the ways that you can hang this device is to pull up uh, this hook right here, and then you can just suspend it from the hook. This hook is spring-loaded, so I, but it doesn't have enough pull to lift the device back up and, and secure it onto the rope or whatever you got it hooked onto, but that's just one of the ways of doing it. up the engine compartment pretty good. Another way of hanging this is to uh, pop this thing up from this edge right here and then you can make that pop forward and then you can do the same thing on this side and you can hang it in the air like this. If you wanted to hang this light from a wall it you can see it's got a spot for you to uh, put a nail through there and whoops sorry and then there's another one over here so you could open it up full all the way and, and hang it from a couple of nails if you wished. This is a pretty nice light. Uh, there's a lot that I like about it. The range of uh, places that you can make this thing, you know, angle and turn to and use. Uh, but there's just a few overwhelming things that I just don't care for about this unit. Uh, and it probably wouldn't even, I probably wouldn't even notice it if I hadn't just reviewed about four or five different Milwaukee lights. Uh, Milwaukee Tool LED lights. Uh, the construction of this particular device is just really flimsy compared uh, to the Milwaukee lights I've been reviewing. The plastic on it is really lightweight. Um, the light of the LEDs is not the same. Uh, this is just when you turn this on the color spectrum is kind of that pale cold blue that you're used to seeing with the older style LEDs and the new Milwaukee LEDs have uh, what they call the true view which is very close to sunlight and the difference is startling when you like, compare them side by side. Uh, the plastic that they use on here is really lightweight. Uh, I've been using the Milwaukee stuff for a while. This guy right here uh, it's the same power. Uh, this is a thousand, this is 950 lumens. I've dropped this from a height of six feet twice 
and there's not a scratch on it. It did put a pretty good dent in the floor of my camper, but uh, the unit itself dropped twice, keeps running. The plastic is so much better. It's got really nice rubber guards around it. The, everything about it is so much nicer, and the price of this is not that far off of this. So it's really hard to get excited about this. Uh, I, I would probably love it if I hadn't been using the other you know, better products for a while. So just to better illustrate what I don't like about the button on the Ryobi is here's the Milwaukee button. I don't know if you could hear it click but you actually have to press it down and make it click to turn it on. And the other thing I like about the way the Milwaukee is doing the lights now is there's a different button for the mode and then when you turn the light on and off it remembers where it's at. With this one this is so sensitive and then you gotta cycle through the whole thing to turn it on and off. I mean it's maybe not a big deal it's just once you get used to doing it this way this pretty much sucks. I had to illuminate the messy corner of my garage. The camera is showing it quite a bit lighter than it really is. That corner is quite dark and you can't see anything in it uh, if you're actually here in, in person. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Ryobi light with uh, both bars on. Whoops, see I, that button I barely touched that thing and I double pumped it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on again. I'll be a little more careful. So this is both lights turned on. And uh, you can see it, the, everything in there pretty nicely. Uh, and the distance from where the light is to the corner is probably in the six to seven foot range. So I think that's probably about what you would be using it for in a work type environment. I might turn one light on. Uh, that's the bottom only and the top only and what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the Milwaukee light just so you kind of get an idea of what I'm comparing it to so right now it's 50 lumens brighter but the color spectrum is so much nicer it's really much more pleasant on the eye if I was working for a long time I would really want to use this light instead of the other light. But all said, I mean, if you're running the Ryobi battery system, you're not going to go out and buy this Milwaukee light just because it works a little bit better. But I'm just telling you what I'm used to using.